mention flannel. What I've got here is a Siley Optics Wolf X Pro. This was sent out to the channel for free for review, full disclosure. And today, all we're gonna do is a what's in the box, first impressions. Here we go. All right, so jumping right on in, comes with the lid, comes with the sticker, comes with uh, a warning, it comes with instructions, it comes with the diagram, very nice. Comes with a boot that slides over. Actually kind of nice, I would never use it, but it's there, so it's cool. You got a little boot to cover your red dot. Uh, screws, it comes with 632 screws in multiple lengths. It comes with number 440 screws in multiple lengths. It comes with M3.5 screws in multiple lengths. And that seems to be it for screws. It comes with adjustment tools, flathead and the little Torx for installation. Not too bad. I'm not going to show you how to install it because if you can't tighten the screw at this point, you probably need to go a couple of videos further back or maybe I'll make a video in the future. We'll find out. So that's it of what's in the box. Moving on to the first impressions of the red dot. Okay, so first impressions and basic overview. We got the Sally Wolf X Pro, right? It's got the RMR footprint, it's got a side-loaded battery, and it's the same size as my Holosun 507C. When I say the same size, it's almost completely identical, other than the fact that the hood over your, um, your glass is a little slimmer. On that same note, it actually looks better than the, uh, the 507C from Holosun. It also looks better than the RMR. Aesthetics don't matter, but they do matter. So yeah, I, aesthetics looks good. It's got two buttons on the side, nice rubbery ones. Bunch of different brightnesses. You can make it blinding, which would be nice in the, in the heavy sun. Nice and dim. It actually goes so dim, it looks like it might be working with night vision, but I did not check that. Claims to be submersible and rainproof, which you think submersible would kind of be a given for rainproof. It has a really high rating to drop from a decent amount of weight on concrete and still survive. So we'll see in later videos if it survives durability tests, table rack, but well, it survived table rack, just like that. So overall view, it looks pretty sweet, but I just unboxed it and installed it. Haven't shot it yet. So we'll see how she goes. Keep an eye out for another video. I'm gonna beat the tar out of it and give you guys a solid review. Farewell.